just not something that happens. I just don't, I, I'm just not one of those type of people that that happens to. Well, as y'all can tell, there's a daylight behind us. We roosted a turkey last night, went ahead and made, up a, made a blind and everything. We had we, about 70 yards from him. I mean, absolute slam dunk situation. And we just woke up at 5.30 in the morning and well, turkeys fly down at about 5.30. Over 20 years of chasing these things and I chase them a fair amount. I have never overslept. It's not something that happens to me. Oh, I didn't hear my alarm go off. Oh, I, no, that does not happen to me. I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, no. That's the only explanation. Losing your touch. Well, I went cautious of turkey this morning. I can just about oh, yeah. found a gobbler and five or six hens in this field and we're going to go around and try to get in front of them it's going to be a maneuvering situation because like i said he's got five or six hens with him so i don't know how much yelping he's going to hear made a big loop we to come up on the back of this field that they were feeding out into with any luck, we'll be able to put our eyes on them. Put together a game plan. So we got out here and got our eyes on them. They're just piddling. We're trying to make them wait on them to make a move so that we can make a move. And if they ever make a move left or right and get out around the corner of that gap, we'll be able to make a good solid move on them, be able to cover a lot of ground quick. Turkey's flanked to the right. I think we're fixing to try to just beeline straight across this field and use this hedgerow and hope it's thick enough for cover. Right, we got to this side, I was making a slip, but I don't know if there was a hen in the woods with us or if one of those hens was right on the edge, just caught us, but she started butting. I just looked at him and he's kind of feeding a little quicker, but he was just feeding and kind of feeding out. So we're gonna make a push to the edge here. I don't know if it's gonna pan out, but we're gonna push to the edge and see if we can see him or something.
much you got hands right here from probably 60, from 30 to 60. I'm gonna be using my hand up real slow. I'm not sure you can see the gun. I'm gonna make sure you go, okay? No, Copper's still way out there. Oh yeah, dude, he's going out. We're gonna miss him if we don't try to get down, down some more ground. Is that? Yeah. I can't move my legs. I can't move either. I cannot move either. <laughs> my legs. I can't believe we just killed that freaking turkey. My legs are numb. <laughs> I mean, I can't go get that turkey. If I stand up, I'm going to collapse. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I was shivering. Not even because I'm cold, but just because I'm nervous and my joints are all stoved up. I couldn't get the camera up once he started coming. I was up on my knees and I had the camera like laying on the ground, so I had to reach down. It's crooked out on that. Oh, you don't think you got it? If it, if it was facing like that, probably not. Well, I tried. Yeah. I was trying to be a good camera girl. Oh yeah, he started putting, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, we gotta shoot him. Yeah. I shot him like basically three Because he wasn't gonna do what these hands right here do. Mm -mm. See, what had happened was, <laughs> we've been crawling on this turkey for, since about what, what time is it right now, Bet? I don't know, you got your I don't phone? my phone is. It is 10.30. We started crawling on him. 7.30? Yeah, 7.30. 
we've probably been at this about three hours and we got to him and then they moved to this corner we used the roll of the hill to get close and by the time we got over here they were moving out and i was cussing our luck so one of these hens got caught us a little bit and instead of wigging she got curious and started doing that curiosity clucking stuff and started coming at us and then for the next thing you know we had all eight hens within 40 yards like some of them from anywhere from 10 yeah from right here at <laughs> 10 close. to to 40 yards all of them just staring holes through us and he watched him feed the other way and i said of course <clears throat> i'm curious to get back and look at the map and see how and far we actually crawled that was a lot of crawling <laughs> yeah and about that time, I looked up and saw his head come back up, and I had come all the way up on the top of my knees to look over the rise. Cameron was laying on the ground. And I look, and he's, I said, hold on, he's walking back to us. He's gonna catch up with these hens. And I just hit record, and I'll probably video on the ground for a little bit. And then I couldn't move because, I mean, he's sitting up here and he's closing the distance. And about that time, I come up with the camera to video him. And he caught this camera. He caught the glare of this camera or something because he putted two times. And Courtney said, can I go? I said, if you think you can hit him, go ahead. She hit him. Pretty square, it looks like. What's up? Oh, yeah. We were... Is that one of the hens? Yeah, it's got to be. Buddy. How white his head is. Look how big is it? <laughs> we wasn't expecting all that. That's a crazy good beard. I knew he had a brush when we were looking at him. Look at that hand that was looking behind me. My oh, no. legs ain't like right yet. <laughs> Let me see. Man, what a beer. What a heck of a beer. Looks like a nice two-year-old two turkey. About seven eighths inch spurs or so. He has got a dandy beard. He's a two-year-old because his beard tips are still amber. That is awesome. I'm glad we figured it out after you so overslept this morning. Yes, I'm happy I killed this turkey. Are you? Yeah. I will say. It's sad though, because uh, my season one. season's officially over for me. There's a hen again. They're just out doing their thing. They care less that they've lost their man. <laughs> They're like. He wasn't all that great anyway. Mm -mm. You did a good job. That was a good shot. Thank you. That was a great shot. Thank you. Pride myself in great shots. Mm. What is it, little lady? Nothing. You pretty happy about this? Yeah. Happy and sad. You upset? Happy that I killed this turkey today and sad that a long time to go before I kill another one, so. <sighs> it's the last day of Wisconsin season. Can't say that it hadn't treated us well. I ended up swinging through Wisconsin. Plan on spending a few days here, and I've ended up being here for, how long have I been here for? I got here on about the. You're almost a resident. Almost a legal resident. I've been here for, I left on the, got here on the 18th. The day's the 28th, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So 118, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7. This is the 11th day I've hunted in Wisconsin. I like Wisconsin. He might move here. He's mm -hmm. considered it. Got to check the housing market. But the woman, the women are nicer. Everybody's nicer up here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Compared to you. I'll just say this. I'm glad I don't have to ride 11 hours back home with you. I'm glad you don't, too.
You like listening too much of that music. I like thinking. How do you think the rabbit hunt is around here? It's probably pretty good. Rabbits. They probably have some pretty big rabbits. And we know the deer hunting's good. We've seen a pile of deer. Mm hmm. We know the turkey hunting's good. Turkey hunting's fair middling. People are nice. Mm -hmm. Butter and cheese on everything. So the turkey's head in the shot there? Yeah. Just a little bit. We need to bring it down just to fuzz, don't we? Mm -hmm. Why don't you do that? How's that coffee? Cold. It's got little things floating in it. I think that's dried up creamer. Mm -hmm. Good God, I'm out. <laughs> right there, it's good. Good is, job. Is it level? Yeah, it's good. Perfect. God. I'm a camera woman in the making. I think the viewers can all probably agree. You're mm. meaner to me than I am to you. You're constantly giving me hell. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I'm gonna smoke a cigar, right? Please do.